In today's video, we are going to go over a really good free gate effect called GateLab by Audio Modern. Hi friend, welcome to Produce with CrossV. Let me go ahead and show you how you can download GateLab. So in order to get GateLab, you have to head over to Audio Modern's website. I will leave this link in the description so that you can get it yourself. And if you don't have an account with Audio Modern, you will have to first create an account. So I will pause this video, go ahead and fill my details. And inside my account, once I click on my account, I will get this option to download GitLab. And this entire zip package is about 25 MB. So it won't take up a lot of space. All right, now, once you have GitLab installed on your system, you will get this pop-up when you first open it. It is just asking you to enter your registered email address so that it can verify your license. So I will just fill in that detail. And once I fill in that detail, you can see that it is successfully authorized. And I will click on finish. And this is what the interface looks like. Now, let me go ahead and tell you everything about all of these features inside the plugin. So if you take a close look at this bar at the top, you see that there is a tempo button. If you're using a Windows system though, you cannot do anything to it. It will automatically sync to the tempo of your door. If you want to change this tempo, you will have to change the tempo of your entire project. Moving on, we have the undo and redo buttons inside the plugin itself. So that way you can easily switch between the previous setting and the next setting without much hassle. If you want to minimize your plugin, just click on this option and that will minimize the interface. Also, you can freely resize this plugin any way that you like. All right, let us now begin with our demonstration. So in order to demonstrate this plugin, I have created a few simple chords and I will first bypass this plugin by clicking on this button. And now we will listen to the chords without this effect applied to it. So that's what our chord sounds like without the effect applied to it. Now let me turn off the bypass so that the effect gets applied. And here's what it sounds like with the effect on. So that's how the signal sounds with the initial setting applied to it. Right now, the plugin is set to the flow mode which will allow me to set up the volume of the effect that is applied on every single step. So I can just left click on these blocks and I can reduce the volume of the effect that is applied on that particular step. Likewise, I can also increase it and I can just drag it across all the steps like this and that will create new steps. However, if I switch from the flow mode to the gate mode, when I left click on any of these steps, it just deletes that particular step. Also, you can switch between mono and stereo from inside the plugins interface. When you switch to mono, there's just one channel that you can apply the effect to. On stereo, you obviously get two channels and creating varying steps on both of these channels can actually be used to make the signal sound wider. The next important control that I want to be talking to you about is the randomize button. Once you click on randomize, these steps will be randomized automatically without you having to do much. Like this. You can also set up the mode of randomization with the help of these three controls on the plugin. The control to the extreme left will produce the least number of bars on these steps. The one in between will produce a few more bars and the one to the right will produce the maximum number of bars on these steps. With the help of these three controls, you can set the direction in which the effect is applied. Right now, it is set to left to right and when I play my signal, you will see that the effect is applied from the left all the way to the right.
all right however if i switch to right to left you will see the white bar moving from right to left so the effect is applied in the opposite direction the last control over here is the ping pong option and the direction of the effect will be left to right until it reaches the end and then it will bounce back and go all the way from right to left so let's see how that sounds okay if you want to switch back to the default setting you can use this option and that will erase all of the settings that you have changed inside gatelab you can also undo it like we've seen before beside the bypass option you can you also have an option to momentarily bypass the plugin this will only work if you click and hold and when you release the finger from the mouse key the bypass will stop and the plugin will be activated the last option from the top bar is the loop effect or infinity loop like audio modern calls it if you click on this the whole effect will be looped for the number of times that you select over here if i change this to 2 this particular pattern will play for two loops and then a new pattern will be randomized automatically so let's play this so that we can check this out There you go. It has now created a new pattern. I'll just go ahead and switch this off. The next option over here is really important. This will help you sync the entire effect along with the beats. So right now it is set to one sixteenth. If you set it to one by eight, the entire effect will slow down. Like this, and if you turn it up. the effect will be fast okay you can also switch the number of steps from here right now it's at 32 but you can type anything that you want or else you can use these arrows and when you left click on the arrow it reduces the steps if you click on the right arrow it will increase the steps you can also left click on this option and drag it up or down and i think that is much more convenient and now since we changed the steps you can see a few of them are faded out because gatelab hasn't included them in the loop yet to include them in the loop you just have to hover over this green bar at the top and once your cursor changes to this double headed arrow just left click and drag it out and that will include all of the steps in your effect the next option over here can be really useful this is the lock option so if you click on the key the lock option is activated and now if you click on any one of these steps you see a yellow bar underneath it which means that particular step is locked so i will just click on these three steps and lock them and now when i click on the randomize button these three steps will remain as they are and the rest of the steps will be randomized by gatelab so a really useful option if you want to unlock any of these steps at any point in time just click on them again and that unlocks the steps the next option is the preset option and there are a bunch of presets that you can choose from and once you click on them you see that that particular preset is applied to the plugin i will just undo this and switch back to stereo if you want to further divide these steps you can just click on this option and once you left click and drag up the number over here will change and you can just hit this option beside it and now these steps have been randomly broken up into half steps or even three steps like you can see and now when i play the signal this is what it sounds like if 
you want to manually control how this step is broken up, you can just click on this dot below it and that will help you alternate between half step, two steps and three steps. We also have the dry and wet knob over here and this will help you select how much of the effect is applied to your signal. Right now, 100% of the effect is applied to the signal but if I bring this down to 20%, this is what our signal sounds like. Okay, let's turn that back up to 100. And the last option that I want to show you is the feather option. And this will just help you smooth out the entire signal. Right now, the feather is set to 50. But if I pull this up all the way to 100, the signal will sound much more smooth. If I drop this to zero, here's what our signal sounds like. So it's a lot more choppy. Based on the sound that you're trying to achieve, you can set us up any way that you like. So that was the complete tutorial for GateLab by Audio Modern. I would surely rate this plugin a 5 stars. It's a really cool plugin that can be yours for free. If you want more updates about more free plugins, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.